In some of our previous videos, we have talked about creating virus and backdoors and payloads using Python. But the problem arises is antivirus detects that. Now, some of a user or some of the viewers actually commented below that uh, antivirus can detect that. So here is the solution for that that we are going to talk about. This is the solution that is not very 100% proof, but actually works in maxims of the scenarios. So let's see how we are going to do that. I'm not going to use a proper payload. I'm just going to create a sample show of how you can do that. Okay. So first let's create a virus file. So I'll just say virus dot py. Obviously it will be in Python because I code in Python. So for that, I'll do print and write a message hello okay i am virus that that's a very silly statement but still it's will work for our uh, checking okay we can check using this so now we have our virus.py file now what we have to do is we have to create a base64 encoded string for this so for that we are going to do cat and we have to use virus.py file so for that we'll do virus.py and then we have to get the base64 encoded string for that so there we have it now the thing that is we have to use this in another program to hide it okay now we will create a just simple program and we will hide this uh, encoded string and then use that okay so i'll name it invasion okay dot py okay this is a python file and now let's uh get what we have to type in here so first we have to import base64 okay because that's what we are going to use and uh, then we have to get a sys module obviously without that you cannot use lambda function that we are going to use then we are creating a executioner in python then we have to use base64 and b64 decode because we have to decode the string then we are going to specify some of the parameters that is to is to str and we have got p is to lambda okay it's l a m b d a okay i don't know how you pronounce it but whatever you just need to understand okay then we have got bytes and now we have to specify the type of encoding so currently we have the type of encoding is utf-8 okay now we have to specify some more things like this version it goes sys dot version okay and then we have info we have to set this as zero which means it must be an output of true and then we have to specify the main base 64 string so we'll just copy this from here and we'll paste it there we have the string we have to close it and there we have our code okay so now we save it let's clear the screen and let's check we have the file in vision.py it's time to run it and let's see if it works okay there you can see it is printing the same as we did in virus.py for a better verification i'll do cat invasion.py so this is the code and then we do cat virus.py and this is the code so actually what we did is we created this and we encoded this in a base64 string and we added it into another program that is going to read it So what it actually does is uh, 
if you are trying to create a reverse connection or any kind of network connection between two attacker's device or victim's device then in that scenario antiviruses won't be able to detect what the program is actually going to do since it is in a uh, encoded version until it's running it's running okay so obviously the exe won't be running until you try to execute it so this won't be traced down and it makes the payload about 80 to 85 percent invisible and the rest of the 15 percent is visible when you try to make the connection so make sure your payload is of a better threaded or you can say it is coded in a better manner that it can create a reverse connection within a single connection because more than two three connections uh, antivirus is going to detect that as of uncertified network and then it's going to block it so that's how you try uh, to bypass antiviruses and this is the option that you can give it a try and that's all in this video hopefully you have uh, got something new and found something interesting if yes uh, give a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel to watch more videos like this you can also comment in the comment box if you have any questions or any uh, topic that you want videos on i'll take it into consideration and i'll try to make the videos on that thank you for watching and keep learning